trying to get comfortable in the stall at the Who Do You Think You Are live platform. This is Patricia and Caroline from the University of Dundee and responsible for genealogy courses up in, in Dundee. And you've got you've both got your own sort of areas really. I'll start with you, Patricia. Tell me a bit about the it's the postgraduate courses that you yes, deal with, yeah? That's right. So what, what's happening uh, at Dundee at the moment? Well we have for the last six years we have had a certificate, postgraduate certificate in family local industry. And also the modules are available individually, so people can do so a module in her heraldry which is um, tutored by the College of Arms people. All right. And we're shortly starting a house history module, which is going to be run by Nick Barrett. Okay. And together, all the modules make up the certificate, postgraduate certificate. This year, we are launching the first degree in family and local history online. Right. And that will be an MLIT available within two to two and a half years with a fast track. So people can actually do two modules at once if they're not working, if they've got time, and get the degree earlier. So we're very excited about it. So let's we'll just backtrack a wee bit now. Is this a course for Scottish genealogy or British genealogy? British, or, or... British and areas of the diaspora. We've just been talking to our colleagues over there in Nova Scotia. Right. Um, the stall over there, not actually Nova Scotia. <laughs> so we're, we're looking at making links with a number of people, but certainly it's not a Scottish course. It's of course in Scotland, but right. we do have some Scottish elements. Right. We have Scottish paleography, yeah. Scottish government and records. Um, so people can take them, but the bulk of our stuff is British. Right, okay. So it's, it's actually accessible for anyone across the UK absolutely. around the world, even I suppose absolutely, if it's online. Absolutely, yeah. um, Australia, Canada. Okay. Is it purely online? Purely online. It is purely online. Which okay. is a very supported learning environment. Right. So there are expert tutors who are archivists or genealogists. Yeah. Um, they are there with the tutors, there are tasks they have to do, and then there are assignments at the end. But the students are not just sent off to do it, they, they work with the other students, and they work in a closely environment, monitored environment, so it's very supportive. Very good. And if you want to do the course, um, how do you find out about the course? If you're not here, uh, who do you think you are live? Where do I go to say, what if I want to do a postgrad course okay. or a degree or whatever? Right, if you want to do that, you should go onto the University of Dundee's website, yep. www dundee.ac.uk slash archives It's as simple as that And from there you'll get into the archive website you can also do slash case C-A-I-S Right And that will get you into the to all the details of our courses Very good And do you need to have any particular uh, qualifications before you do the course? Can you go in as somebody who's never been to uni before? What's the kind of criteria? Yes you can for beyond the internet that Caroline's going to tell you about yeah. you don't need any qualifications For the master's degree and the postgraduate certificate we don't necessarily require a degree, but we will treat each case on its merits sure. individually. So if you've got the relevant experience in some Absolutely, way, that's, yes, yeah, you, yes. you can sign up to that. And people who maybe have done diplomas elsewhere, right. or certificates elsewhere, can come and they can complete with us. Right, sure. They can transfer their credits. Okay, okay very good. So that's, that's half the story. Right, now Caroline. You've got another part of the story. What's going yes. on here? Okay, let's get the Swiss, okay. the Swiss new... Right, they go, family and local history beyond the internet. It does what it says on the tin. Well, well, what, what's it say on the tin? It's, it says <laughs> that these are short online courses and you can study at home. Um, what we're really aiming for here is um, to help people who've done some family history research. They've looked at Ancestry, looked at Find My Past. Yeah. Um, they filled in a few names, but what they really need to do is to know how to go a little bit further. So the idea is to start looking at different types of records like education records, poor law records. We look at how they were created, why they were created, what's in them and how that information might help you in your family history research. So um, it's all online as with the other courses and it gives you lots of links to information that you can use that is online or if it's not online it will tell you and it will say you, you know you might have to go to your local record office to look at this. And how long are these courses? That... These are six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah. Okay. We have two courses. Courses. Yeah. Um, one looking at more basic records types like church records, do a little bit of paleography, how to read the old handwriting, yeah. oh. and then the second course looks at more complex ones, particularly church court records, things like emigration, um, directories and how to use those. Right. And can you accrue credits from these courses to transfer onto the postgrad these, courses or anything these, like that? Or these courses are just uh, leisure courses. Right, so these are standalone but, yeah. courses. But right. what we okay. actually find find us that lots of people start off with these transfer and actually get the so end. hooked yeah. they transfer on and particularly for people who don't have degrees it's a really good way to start with this 
and then go on to do test the water the basically. Then, to, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And to see how friendly the staff are well, at Dundee. You know, yes. the, the world's most friendly place yeah. <laughs> outside of Largs. <laughs> Very good. Well, I hope you have a good event Great. and lots Thank of students you. sign up. And uh, you know, I'm sure you'll be here again next year. Yes. You've been here every year for. We've well, been here since the start. Yeah, since yes. the dot. That's right. Yes. Okay. Well, listen. Have a good event. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks very right. much. Bye.